Hello and welcome. I am the friendly neighborhood dungeon master, otherwise known as the Effin DM, and this is Cold Hard Witch, the lawful stupid RPG playthrough of the Rime of the Frost Maiden game from D&D. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let's go ahead and get around to our cast, the beautiful bunch that decided to sit and chill with me tonight as we're all just hanging out. <sighs> First and foremost is Buddy, who is playing Xander, the wizard. Mm -hmm. Then, say, recently promoted to leader of a cult, it's Zalvana, uh, who, is play who Madeline plays, is our bard. Though at this point, I think she might just be Zalvana the boss. Yeah, so there's that. Uh, then there's Amy, who plays Fariel, the drogue. And then uh, we have Chael, who plays Delphi, our cleric, uh, and also seeker of all subquests possible uh, <laughs> <laughs> and never far from my heart is flynn the dwarf flinging fl fighter played by none other than the fur clad rodney all right there's and a giant last... wolf head on here but it's keyed out oh man oh, i want oh that so bad for you all right <laughs> and, the, and last but not least is pike who plays the professor however the professor will not be joining us tonight or will he <gasps> oh. So, that being said, hey friends, welcome back. Mm. We find ourselves in the sleepy little town of Bremen. Well, most of you find yourselves in the sleepy little town of Bremen. Currently, Zolvana is back at the care, or is she? As the five of you ventured into Bremen to try to figure out just where this creature, monster, being that is under the, under the sway of O'Real is currently terrorizing, existing, and it's your job to hunt it down. However, currently you are all exhausted. And in, rather than seeking a night's respite, you decided to go all Scooby-Doo gang and try to crack open this mystery of the five taverns. You dangled a pub crawl in our faces. I absolutely did. So, and you <laughs> took it like champs, just like, <gasps> so. <laughs> Having in, having gone through at least I think three of the five uh, five tavern centers, they discovered that these taverns were built by five brothers. Each of the five brothers, thinking that one of the other brothers would run the taverns after they built them all, and all of them being very unhappy. However, shortly after a couple of exchanges with the brothers, they realized that something just seems off in the sleepy little town of Bremen. And when we last left our players, they had gone into the pub known as the Grumpy Moose, whose proprietor, you will remember, his name was Steve. Now the professor had done various and sundry mind melds to try to hear the thoughts of the brothers. And for the most part, it seemed to come out as either gibberish or screaming or swear words. Like there just didn't seem, seem to be something unnatural about this. And so we go ahead and join the four of you at the bar of the Grumpy Moose, where the bartender has just disappeared. Um, no, N no, um, no, no. All right. Um, if we all just walk slowly towards the door and just... Let's turn around. As the three of you try to get up from the bar, you notice the professor is still sitting there. And he looks at you and goes, you, you look just like my brothers. Can I hit the professor so hard to knock him out? <laughs> like a full open-handed You slap. absolutely can. <laughs> Go ahead and roll for initiative, everybody. Uh, oh, shit. Uh. <laughs> I guess I won't since I'm not there. So, buddy, yes, I want sir. you to roll a. I want you to roll a d6. Okie dokie. I'll use one of my Kraken d6s. Go ahead and get Kraken. That and is then, a six, my friend. A six? Awesome. Okay. So then uh, I want you to go ahead on a So a six... I want you to go ahead and message me uh, when you would like to join the fight. Okay, copy that. 
Yeah, which, whichever round you think you could get to. Now, Zolvana, go ahead and roll a d8. Oh. Ah. All right. I rolled a six. <laughs> All right, then. You're coming in on round six. All right. Let's hope they last that long. Right? Oh, God. That was my first thought. I was like, oh, God. Yeah, this is going to be a, this is going to be an interesting little tussle, my friends. So let's go ahead and get cracking. I'm a uh, 21, but it's not on the the, the, the tracker thingy. Did you, did you click your token? Yeah. Fail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, go ahead, click your token and load it again. I don't want to lose my 21. Well, no, you, you can, can type you it can in. You still have the 21. It's still real. It's, it, it happened. We were all there. I sent you a message, Dan. <laughs> oh, love it. Please and thank you. All right. Yeah. Uh, so, Madeline, that's so funny that you asked that because that's a no for all of us. Ain't oh, nobody great. got mm. Ain't any nobody rest. got no rest. Uh, the last time I was here, I was in... I. You know, I was still in the care den of all. Yeah, we were there and yeah, shunted right over here are, without resting. Oh, and, uh, okay. That ain't nobody that's got to rest so far. We left you there to do cult shit. Actually, you made us leave you there to do cult shit. <laughs> I like how this cool. suddenly has become her fault. So that's that's good. That's, that's it's good. fine. It's fine. I wasn't there, but it's cool. Like <laughs> <laughs> Ryan. I'm not hearing any kick-ass battle music. Let's let's try to get that going. Hey, you know, it's it's just it's it's real. Uh, Are you sure we need battle music? Chill? Not like oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's just like just hey, everybody. Here's the sultry sounds of a beat down. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Thank you for joining me sultry on this Saturday. Sultry sounds of a beat down. <laughs> I'm mad yeah. that float as well as it did. It was beautiful. I thank you. I thank you. Yeah, sultry sounds of a beatdown. That's that, that's what you got for the Saturday night. Makes right. notes welcome. for t-shirt slogans. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I want that as a t-shirt. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, coming in with the big old flex is Delfina with the 21. So, Delfina, you look over down the bar as the rest of you are sort of pulling away from the bar. I assume everyone starts to take that like awkward step of like, oh, the bar tender just disappeared. Weird flex. And we're leaving. You see the professor's eyes roll back in his head and you hear the voice of Steve. And he says, you look just like my brother. And he says that to Flynn. Now, I know that's not true because- <laughs> <laughs> There are two more brothers you haven't even met yet. All right, you don't even know. All right. No, no, no. See, no, I'm, I'm a brother. You're, you're talking about your brother. <laughs> Different things. Look, he's got me here. Whomp, whomp. Look, he's got that like ghost vision going. He's just, <laughs> he's just, he's just seeing bad stuff all over. Anyway. Um, Besides, Flynn knows he's way too good looking to be. <laughs> so, <clears throat> Delfina does not like this. She's like, oh, shit. So I'm going to cast Calm Emotions. Ooh. Interesting. Let's get that on there so you can yeah. see what it is. All right. So Calm Emotions means I have to make a, 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 a charisma save on this. Yeah? Yes. Okay, yes. cool. I love. I like Why this Why is it flex. not displaying? There it goes. There we go. All right. You attempt to suppress the strong emotions in a group of people. All right, then. And with a 15, Fuck. Steve manages to shrug off your magics. Bonus action. Ooh. <laughs> I remember my bonus action. Bonus action. What do I do with bonus action? Tear his other arm off. Oh, then he can't do anything. I do that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Pike would be so upset. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. He comes back he and comes... he's got nothing but tentacles. <laughs> oh, my God. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call up my spiritual weapon just in case. <laughs> I'm not going to pick a fight, but also. I'm but also just this. in case. So she'll yeah. uh, rub her hands together, smack them, and then pull them apart, and in between, you see just the huge feather. Of course. Take shape. 
The Living beautiful, glistening, blue. icy blue feather of Delphina. <laughs> Speaking of which, do I need to bring that on or you got that? Um, I mean, see if I can do it, toe down. Um, yeah, right, you should be able to. Yeah, spiritual weapon. Bink. Bing, bing. 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 Just in case. What? <laughs> you put the... <laughs> right over his head. Boy, if you move, I'm going to drop that hammer. <laughs> it's like, I abhor violence, but I'm going to flex on you, okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would never strike first, but by God, I will strike last. Right? <laughs> It'll be over. All right. So uh, next up on the list is, uh, okay, so Delfina, you try to calm the creature, the professor, what? Uh, and it seems to have no effect. So you summon your feather and did you put it right over your shoulder? Like it looks like no, it's going? No, it's going behind me just in All case. Right, excellent, excellent. Shale would put it on his head. Delfina Absolutely would keep it would. next to her. All right. <laughs> um, it's at this point that Flynn, it's your turn. I believe oh. your, your suggestion was to knock this old man out. Yeah, 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 it is. <laughs> yeah, that's, that feels real. That feels real. Um, I figure if he's unconscious. It's <laughs> less of a problem. I mean, anybody can carry an unconscious body. Let's be honest. <laughs> um, I'm have to do it as an unarmed strike, I think. Um, yes, or you will absolutely have to claim like non-lethal damage, which you can do with melee attacks. Okay. I would also argue that there's a possibility you could do it with uh, ranged attacks as well, depending upon how good you are at shooting something. But that's just me. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull out, you know what? Yeah, no, I'm gonna pull out my rapier and like just hit him with the, with the good blunty side of my, uh, swept tilt. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Gonna do that, 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 that flat pat. Just, all right. Yep. Dig it. Well, with the, right, with, so, with the blade or with the, or with the, the, the hilt? The, the hilt, the hilt. Oh, yeah, all, like, all, like, all knuckle, oh, all knuckle. Like it's brass knuckle, brass knuckle, knuckle style. Coming in knuckle duster. Okay, yep. cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So uh, go ahead and, and roll on the professor. All right. Here we go. That's a 14. All right. Let's see here. That. Interesting, prof. You know, like an 18 AC. Yeah, no, no. I'm gonna have to talk to him about not taking shield or anything like that. This is just a. This is shameful. Oh, thank God. Well, he's, yeah, not, right? he's not a fighter. He's an academic. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. You tell that to the guy he was cutting up in the basement of East of East Haven. Right. <laughs> uh, you know, okay. and, uh, He's still academic, actually. I mean, yeah. an autopsy is yeah, not combat. Not, not wrong. Uh, that fourteen does absolutely get through his AC. Go ahead and roll your damage. Okay. It's four. <laughs> four. Four. Okay, it's going to take a while. All yeah, right. So, yeah. but I'm not mad. So, all right. So with that four, boom, you hit him in the head. And like his head kind of goes. He broke his neck. And then kind of just resets again. So you gonna hit him again? Was it like like zombie-like? Like it like and then you didn't or... see like the vertebrae pop or anything like that, but it like he definitely took the full force of Flynn's punch and it kind of rocked the professor's head to the side. But this seems almost as if, like, he doesn't know how to human right now. Gotcha. Okay, okay. All, all right. Um, it's, it's, it's okay, not right. I don't know how to okay. human ever. So. That's, that's on me. That's on me. I, I threw the first punch. All right. Right. Um, we're going to want to leave, and I'm going to hit him again with the <laughs> with, with the hilt of my, with my, of my sword. Excellent. Okay. That was an 18. An 18 will hit. Yep. Go ahead and roll that damage. Uh huh, and it's gonna be Ooh, oh, there you go. ten Near points of damage. <laughs> this is mind howls in pain. <laughs> <laughs> is Steve a husky? So what was uh, what was that damage again? Ten. A ten. A ten. Yeah. Mm. You beefy boy. Snap yeah. out of it, Doc. I'm. I look. No. 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 Did you? Did you still? Did you still blunt punch him? Or did you cut him? No, no, this is still butt punching with the Damn. <laughs> nice. Cool. God, yeah, it's insane. 
<coughs> Flynn said, knock you out. All right. Anything else, <laughs> Flynn? You got a bonus action if you want to try to do something or? Um, are you, are you retreating? Are you backing up? So I assume because you've gone ahead and thrown these physical attacks, you are in the five foot melee range. Yeah. No, of the I'm professor. Just, are, are you guys on that map with me? Yes. Okay, cool. So once you update that token, then get it away. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, no, I'll put myself between the professor and everyone else. And just be like, we should probably get out of here. We might have to leave Professor behind for the night to let him walk this off. But um, <laughs> walk it off. <laughs> well, well, I, I kind of love that. But all right. <laughs> okay. So, anything else that you're gonna do? Yeah, I'm gonna use my second wind. So <laughs> okay, okay. It's been it's been too long a day. Oh, thank you, good Jesus. Okay. That's 14. Ooh. Um, that's a 10 on the die. I'm sorry. Was that second win to recover 14 hip? Did you just crit that I recovery did. on your second I, win? That was I did. beautiful. <laughs> well done. All, All right. right yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, 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 now I'm done. Now you're done? <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> so after you go, boom. Boom! Follow it up with like a one-two punch on this Professor Steve hybrid. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, still ooh. howling with pain. <laughs> Very distinctly sounding like the husky of the Siberian North. Um, <laughs> uh, he just locks eyes with you. And then nope, look, you, look, look. you feel for the very first time in your life uh, the, the full force of telekinetic used against you. So he is going to swing on you. Comes in with a, oh, you bastard, an 11. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I, I think that was high enough. Yeah, same. All right. So as that goes, so he goes, and as he like goes to throw you just sort of definitely move out of the way and your bar stool goes and gets slammed back against the wall and as it as it does so he sort of looks to where you were and then looks back and you're like well i've never seen the professor do that uh and it's at that point that he just sort of creaks his neck again in that sort of weird pop way that you've never seen the professor do this doesn't seem to be any like the the professor isn't the professor's not here right now. So um so yeah, so he goes to do that force push and absolutely sails past you, nails that bar stool, and then he proceeds to sort of pull himself up. And as he does that, he then if he breaks into a dance, I'm yeah, not, breaks into I, a full on dance. He does the full rendition of Thriller. I'm first of all, I'm going to contest it. If anyone's dancing Thriller here, it's going to be me. Yeah, I love it. I love you it. You can dance if you want to. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, that'll be. Uh, that'll be it. All right. So, uh, and that's so that's him as he sort of pulls himself up. And next up on the list, friends, is none other than the next ghost. I will need. Wait, Very ghosts? Good. You didn't say anything about no ghosts. I mean, what is the next entity? Uh, Fariel, I'm going to need you to make a charisma save. Oh, I'm so charismatic. Uh, so charismatic. Actually, my charisma save is not terrible. You oh, know what? If, nine. if you're going to turn the whole party into bartender ghosts, maybe I'm glad I'm not in the bar. I mean, it's not the worst thing you could do. So that was, a, uh, that was a nine. That's a nine. Solid nine. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'd, I'd like to propose a new a new feat for our party. It's called Flynn's Posse. <laughs> um, anybody who's in Flynn's 100 posse. feet of me gets uh, advantage and plus 20 on their charisma saving throws. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, 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 I second that request. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds great. We will definitely take it into account. Motion pass. After this game. <laughs> <laughs> so. At this point, Fariel, mm -hmm. you feel not yourself at all as you lose control of your body and are incapacitated mm -hmm. Fun. as Mackie takes over. He sits there 
And then all of a sudden, Flynn, you look behind you and you see Fairy all going, you piece of shit. I'm going to knock your teeth out as he's talking to the professor. Steve. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh -huh. yep. Oh, no. No. I. <laughs> Did we mention this is only a, a one hour stream tonight, folks? This is the, the TPK <laughs> for Cold Hard Witch tonight. I kind of love this, though. All right. So uh, you will. Uh, <laughs> so the ghost now controls the body and it can't uh, deprive the target, uh, but it doesn't deprive the target of awareness. So um, you are still aware of what's happening around you. Uh, Technically, this lasts until your body drops to zero HP um, or until the ghost leaves you. So, oh, she can't reroll. So I can't every like turn? roll to shake it off at any point or like fight it. Oh. No, there are certain effects that could maybe drive out a ghost. But I don't know if any of you have that. So tell you what, I'll uh, we'll, we'll we'll play a game here to see if you uh, you, you get the ability Let's to sort of game. push back. Oh, yeah. Told you. Would you like to play a game? All right. So, <laughs> uh, as so that's Mackie's turn. He takes possession of Fariel. Uh, at which point, I believe in the turn order, mm -hmm. is it Fariel's turn? It is. It's, it's yeah. Turn. Awesome sauce. So then, from there, Flynn, <coughs> almost immediately behind you, with an eighteen. Jeez, I'm crow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So the, the ghost gets to act <laughs> twice? What's that? The ghost gets to act twice? It's my action. It's very controlled. Elster. Controlled by him, though. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, fair, fair point. Fair point. Oh, well, let me kill our party. It'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> all, no, right, all right. All right. All right. Can't That's make fine. new friends. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, right. Okay. <laughs> Not so even friends as, with you guys. So as Fariel attempts to sort of like sh she sort of very like her neck again popping as if like her body is misaligned. Delphina, you're seeing her almost like a marionette, like like she's trying to move, and yet it's the most inhuman locomotion you've seen from Fariel, who is usually quite deft in delivering her motions. Uh all right, yeah. So at, at that point, we'll say that Fariel, this for this turn, you are possessed. However, Flynn, that forceful slam goes off, boom, and again, like it, it tries to go for both you and for Steve. Both of you manage to throw yourselves out of the way. You see Steve kind of dodging out of the way of it before you go, and so you, you don't take the hit on that. But you now are aware of the fact that there seem to be two friends who are not having a great time. Hey, none of my friends. <laughs> yeah. Is... It's at this point that uh, that the third entity makes itself known. But it but is going not. to go ahead and nope. target. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's, he's, it's going to target. Stay out of here. Can I? <laughs> and goes ahead and tries to hit it. Ooh, and it. It does. It does. It doesn't meet to. Oh, that's so beautiful. Okay, so I'm now rolling off for the meat to beat on that. Is this just going to become like a ghost campaign? We all just get taken over and now we're just Jackie Low key, and this is how Jackie. I make sure that all of you show up is I just take over your characters. And then <laughs> so, yeah, next stream is just going to be Ryan playing by himself. Like... <laughs> Welcome to Cold Hard Reality, where I sit here to make sure that I can play D&D &D every day. <laughs> your schedule conflicts suck <laughs> I tried to call off but mm -hmm. I wouldn't let myself All right. <laughs> so uh, Tacky goes ahead and slams Mackie uh, as you see the ghost you see Fariel's body get boom, thrown into the wall and as it does so Fariel you take oh, geez. 14 Jesus crow. damage are you still up? I am. <laughs> that is all. All right. <laughs> all I am. Right. Yeah. So you slam it. So and you say, and you hear the entity of Tacky. You don't see this entity, but you hear it inside the bar. It says, just leave us alone, Mackie. And that shot goes off and it slams Fariel into the bar. All right. Delphina, you're up. 
Okay, so Delphina's low-key low key freaking out because there's now ghosts. And she doesn't like ghosts. So where's my spell list? <laughs> Who are you going to call? <laughs> Delphina! <laughs> she's, she's freaking out. So we're going to cast... Badoop. Protection from good and evil. Badoop. And I want to put that on because I have to put a put it on a person, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't want Fariel to die, so let's put it on her. Concentration until the spell ends. One willing creature you touch has disadvantage. Okay, yes. Yeah, so I grab Fariel's arm and cast so. protection against good and evil. This would be where one willing creature you touch is protected. As Fariel is no longer in control of her body, she is no I'm longer- I'm aware though, can I like fight up? Like, <laughs> what so, so this is where we'll have a roll off. Oh no. So, oh, Fariel, you get to go ahead and do a roll off oh, no. against the entity known as oh, Mackie. Shit. All right, oh, Mackie, my. let's go. Roll high. <laughs> You get to use. Oh, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna say you can use. What's what? What is what is will, my good friends? I would say intelligence. Will. Yeah, or constitution. <laughs> yeah. Constitution. Yeah. yeah, I would say it's probably con. Con. All right then. Like so let's go. With, let's go with will. con. So yeah, yeah, similar to a concentration. So yeah, uh, you are gonna try to shrug off Mackie. Uh, and you will do so using your con modifier. All right. So. Oh, great. All right. So as I roll, Mackie will hold a 19. Oh, oh my God. come on. I Can I give her my inspiration? A 17 plus your con? No, that's with my con. I rolled Can I give 15 her my inspiration? on the dice. Two What's cons. that? Can I give her my inspiration? It's my D20. I've been carrying it for two games. You absolutely can burn that inspiration. I'm burning it. Okay. Come on. Ariel, come on. Me. Come on. Come back to the lights. No. <laughs> No. Nope. What'd you roll? That was a 14. So ah, so with a 14. Total. So you reach out, you touch Fariel's arm, and you feel for a moment like her eyes go, she flickers out, and she's like, Delf, and then, ah, and she rips her arm away from you. Are you trying to break Delphi? Because you're. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Remember when you were like, I'm just going to come down from Celestia and check out the world. This seems like a great time to learn a little bit about me, too. I want to go back to the cult. Oh, shit, I want to go home, mommy. I want to go back to the cult. They are nice. <laughs> By Please the end mind. of this game, you will all be weeping for East Haven. All right. I'm gonna, all right no. All right. So, uh, Delphina, oh, that was your action. Uh, do you have anything else you want to try? Um, Levi, if you still have my feather, now would be a really great time to help us. Ooh. Please. <laughs> Evoking the devil. I like this. Did we just go full Halloween on this episode? <laughs> uh, I... Please. Remember so, I warmed you up. With that evocation... You hear the unmistakable sound of oh, the God. cracking of ice. Oh, Zolvana, roll initiative. <laughs> All right. Oh, Lord. I hope that was a good thing. I'm like, oh, shit, they're not going to let me play with them anymore. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, no, good. It's good. Just keep, just keep adding those chips to that pile that he gets to cash in later. This is good. This is real um, good. <clears throat> All right. Awesome, Sorry, Sam. Mom. Sorry. Yeah. I have to, I, I don't I have to put myself on the thing first. Uh, yeah, so you got so do you want me to go ahead and throw right. you on the map? I'm just gonna throw myself so, there. So you're gonna be coming in the steps here. Actually, it's because of your ability to teleport ah. via the circle. I'm gonna have you come ah. in all gangbuster style. <laughs> Hellstrom dropping in from the ceiling, like like the party that did like like the party did when they had that sort of got sucked into the wormhole that dropped them in. So this will drop you into here and your uh what's your uh, would you roll? A 12. Uh, I can live with yeah. that. I can live with that. All right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and put you into descending order. Bryant. And um, I'm going to say then, with that, Delfina, well done. Uh, but I'm going to say that's your turn. <laughs> 
win. You're up. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, Try not to I, sound too excited. Yeah, I. <laughs> I can't exercise any of y'all because I'm only a fighter and all I have are my two hands. You certainly can. In my mind. You can exercise them with the sweet, sweet savings Just, of your fists. Uh, Push <laughs> the ghost out of us. Five finger prayer right here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Um, what did the finger say to the face? Smack. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to hit the professor again because maybe if Steve is out, the, there's the, the problem there. But I also want to be like, this is not how you solve your family disputes. <laughs> Ow. Then I'm across the face. <laughs> All right. Um, I will. Can, do y'all want to talk about this? Do you want to sit down and have a conversation? We can. Yeah. There's a way I'm, to mediate this. 16. 16 is an absolute hit on the professor. <laughs> like... Like I've got the professor like here. I'm just like, can y'all just can we talk about this, yeah. please? I'm gonna need you to find a healthier way to express your feelings. <laughs> it's like, yeah. It All feels right. like Thanksgiving night. Oh, this yeah, this absolutely feels like a holiday special. Another All ten, right. another ten damage on the professor. Ten more damage on the professor. Non-lethal, non-lethal. Like, don't just. I'm not trying to kill him. I'm just trying to knock no, the ghost no, out of him. No, this is that like. <laughs> This is that scene in Pan's Labyrinth where the guy's getting beat to death with the bottle. It's just, it's just awful. It's non-lethal. All right. So, uh, so yeah, the professor's looking rough, but he's still standing. No, professor, go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you want to hit him again? Yep. <laughs> yep. Bro, y- yep. <laughs> oh. oh he got lucky because that was a one so a one, I don't... yes a one is an absolute myth so like you you're kind of hitting him and like you're just getting a little tired actually and so as you go to like land one more blow you, your your fist kind of slides off from like the blood and the sweat so there's, well i mean all, all in it's a six does that hit the professor i mean it's really close but... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I want a member stream. You too get to pass along to Pike how his character got beat to death. So, uh, I mean, non-lethally beat to death. All right, Flynn, anything else? You've got a bonus action left? Uh, no, no. no God, no. <laughs> At what cost? Yeah. Um, all right. Unless I can yell, at least I can yell at all the ghosts and make them, to calm them down for a second. How, how good is my charisma? Okay. it's not okay i mean you can you can ask the pasha she was real impressed but i don't think like this party seems to be the party that you will excel at in terms of having the the it's a family affair okay so, <laughs> and we all we all know those families where you're like i should not be here i i need to go and if it wasn't for the fact that you had possessed my friend i definitely would have yeah. so steve having been like pummeled the professor yet again reaches out and tries to slam you with a 16 that's a meat <gasps> okay contest is a damn it five. Oh, that's fine ally oh 19 19 absolutely so yet again like the professor tries to like shove you away and you just boom, you manage to duck under it you feel yeah. your hair kind of Blowing in the wind for a moment, it is glorious looking. Like you just had that nice. <laughs> <laughs> does it but hurt you, know, you, Ryan? Had that connected, that would have really sucked. Uh, Ryan, does it hurt you that you can't do that with your hair anymore? My God, it it aches. It's like a phantom limb. I still think it's there. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually the inspiration for this game. I want everyone to know how much it hurts to have a ghost on your shoulder. All right. Oh so, my God. <laughs> so uh, here we are. Back to Mackie, who having just get uh, having just been slammed by Tacky. Yes, I am going to mess this up eventually. Uh, he goes ahead and looks. Feriel turns to Delphina, who had just laid hands on her, and she is going to go an attempt to slam Delphina. Better not with a twenty-two. Sweet God! All right, Delphina, does that hit? Barely, but yes. <laughs> yeah. you, got, you got lucky. You got real lucky. All right. So that force damage coming in at you is a 11. 
<laughs> Ow! Why would you do that? And then as you do that, so as you do, so Fairyel moves in and like slams and she's don't touch me. You're not Fairyel, you creep. <laughs> All right. And it is now Fairyel's turn. Fairyel, you are struggling to get a hold of yourself, quite literally. Um, let's go ahead and do a roll off. This time. Now let's no, let's do a roll up constitution. Okay. I want to. I want you to. I want you to be better. All right. <laughs> Ooh, Sixteen is my. Roll. I'm better. That's a nineteen. Nice. Oh. So with that nineteen push, you are able to like, and as you feel yourself, like somehow your drow training takes over as you still your mind, separate yourself from the entity that is within you, and say to it. What do you say? Get the fuck out. <laughs> and from there, you feel this <sighs> as if the air is rushed out of you. And as the air is rushed out of you, <sighs> it flees. And you are, for a moment, yourself again. Now, I will give you a bonus action as your action was to push that thing out. Okay. Um, I don't know that I have much I can do on a bonus action, honestly. Just grab Delphi and run. <laughs> Um, so when the ghost is out of me, I can't see it. Yes. It's just okay. Yeah, I mean, really everyone, the everyone do a quick history check for me. Party history check. Well, of the people. Well, let's say, Xander, I feel like you are cuspin on like being there so go ahead and roll your initiative okay nice all right so with that you'll be coming in at the bottom of the order so literally as all of this is popping off you're like running in the door if this is what i'm if i'm reading this right but i see i think i've got you got a four me plus whatever plus whatever you got yeah uh yeah i mean i've not rolled my initiative yet was... oh then that's somebody's history check <laughs> that's all <laughs> on that's history check Nice. I should have just did it on my roll 20 because, like, I just rolled a 19. Jesus. Yeah, damn. Uh, my initiative is or 11. D20. Brilliant. All right, go ahead. Pop that in, and I will add you to the descending order. Love it. And go ahead and put yourself on the board. Coming in, uh, buddy, over here by the stairs. Okay. Love it. So from there, uh, Flynn, with a 22 on that history roll, uh, you remember from the seance that the creature, the banshee, was invisible as well. And that this seems to be a trait of not ghosts, but a very specific kind of ghost. Uh -huh. What kind of ghost would that be? You the might get the geist of it. There's a poultry thing. Yeah. I, yep, no, yeah. I got, I got, okay. I got you. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say a poultry thing? Okay. Yeah, oh. chicken thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you show up for, is the. Uh, the you know what? I it, 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 I don't know if everyone just heard that, but but Pike just screamed at the pond <laughs> wherever he is right now. Yeah. He just screamed out in pain at the, as he at those, sat. At, as you as you look over, Pike has touched his own scalp and mind slivered himself. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> By a cruel world. Let's say dropping himself oh. unconscious because he just couldn't. <laughs> All right. Uh, so that is so uh Feriel, that was your turn. And then Zilvana. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> so you've seen. Fariel attack Delphina, and then from there she seems to sort of collapse a little bit against the bar as she drops. There appears and the professor is has avidly like been like trying to throw these punches, but as he's throwing these punches at Flynn, like they're exploding like bar stools and bits of the wall behind him. And then from there, like Flynn is literally 
smashing the shit out of the professor's face. You've kind of walked into a big old cluster. And oh. so also, at all the you end knew, of my turn, I would have at least like grabbed Delphi and looked at her and been like, Delphi, it's me again. It's me. Brilliant. That's a free action. Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, all you knew, Zilvana, is that at one moment you were in the keep working on something. And then you, as if you have no memory of leaving the desk from the office, but you then find yourself standing right here. And that gap in your memory and not really realizing that you didn't have control of that is very unsettling to you. And yet here you are with your friends who appear to be beating the hell out of each other. So. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess I'm going to shoot first and ask questions later. Uh, so, um, <laughs> she first asks questions. <laughs> oh, I gotta tell y'all, she's really embracing this new uh, the cult, cult life. Yeah. directive. <laughs> um, I'm gonna cast distant whispers at the professor. Uh, just level one, don't worry. <laughs> um, <laughs> be fine, be fine. Yeah, it'll be all right. Does, does a 17 hit? That's <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it does. Cool. A six almost dropped him. So you go ahead <laughs> oh, and geez. come at him with All a right. 17. Oh, sad damage. So 3d6. So two, uh, six, seven. So just seven damage. Excellent. Hopefully, it doesn't hurt. As you too sit much. there, so the professor is just throw, trying to throw in a punch at Flynn. As you reach out, these dissonant whispers, like you see, like he claws at his ears and just. Ah, ah, and then he drops and he like slams his head into the bar and then drops out cold uh dm wouldn't it be more like this ah, just not oh, not <laughs> oh, yeah. poor, hands. Poor, oh, yeah. pouring one out for oh. pike's missing arm <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my god. And then, and then I walk forward a little bit and be like, what is going on? I don't have time to explain. <laughs> just gonna just gonna move like oh it's, no. It just, it's, it's a little bit. Everybody go outside. <laughs> All right. Uh and at that moment the professor drops into a heap on the ground. Um, all right, so and he is unconscious. So bonus action, I can cast like, okay. So since he's like, kind of like down and out, can I like cast like healing word on him or something like that to kind of like help him out? So here's the thing he drops <laughs> down to, so because it was a spell, you dropped him and he will be making death saving throws. Okay. Unless you either stabilize him like heal him slightly uh there's like, there's a bunch of ways to sort of bring someone back but at this point he has dropped to zero and the entity has left his body okay um so as a bonus action i'm going to cast healing word as well um that's dissonant whispers is a is it a cantrip no dissonant whispers is a first level spell for me so with the first level spell you cannot cast a second spell. The only way oh, you can I do don't... that is if you have a cantrip, and then you can cast a second spell. Trust oh. me, this is my whole bane about being a spellcaster. Hashtag um, uh, action economy worst ever. Yep, yep. Oh, so, so as like you try you... to, so as you try to reach out to be like, no, and you should be like, professor, professor. You you reach out and you you're not able to reach him. He's he's fine. He's fine. Feels Come on. Cold. All right. So, That's normal. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually, that's legit. That's totally <laughs> right. So, uh, with your bonus action, do you want to do anything else? Um, do you have any salt or the holy water? Like, salt, okay. Holy water. I got <laughs> inspiration. I mean, will bardic inspiration help? Uh, it'll help him? somebody. Uh, huh? it, will, huh? it won't help the professor or will it help? <laughs> oh, wait. Um, the professor is unconscious professor and is dying. Okay. He's fine. He's <laughs> fine. He's fine. I, what about um? You, you okay? You okay? Del Delphina, because she's the you know cleric. Sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm I mean, gonna. I, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna give one of the bardic inspirations to Delphina. <laughs> 
I love how you came in big and strong. You're just like, oh, I'm gonna shoot first, ask questions later. Pow, pow. Holy and then I felt crap, really I bad about it. <laughs> well, and and don't forget, don't worry, it's only level one. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's, it's only level one. It's fine. Everything's fine. Homicidal <laughs> depression. I was. I had just been snatched from where I was. I was a little edgy. Okay. I mean, let's be fair. Let's be fair. You get pop, you get popped into a situation. You're like, look, I'm. I'm I'm shattering first, asking questions later. Correct. Same. All right. So, uh, Zalvana, you are going to use your inspiration yes. for Delphi? Yes. Okay. Okay. Question so, mark. roll that inspiration for her. Or, I, I guess you gift it to her, then she can roll it. But Yes. Right. It's one D6, yeah. Yeah, it's a D6, I believe, at this point. Ooh. All right. Xander, you have heard, like, from outside, Tempest has, like, Come screaming, just like get here now! And then from there, like you, like you, you hear the boom, boom. It sounds like a bunch of airbenders are just fucking hauling off inside uh, the bar. And so you are sprinting up the steps. I will give wait, you. Wait, and so, you, and so you I, and so I came back. I came toward this noise. No, I mean, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I I'm assume kidding. you did. I. <laughs> you did. know what? I, I would assume you, you came running in. You may just be like. Long rest looking pretty good right now, isn't it? Like, <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, I'd like to get to the to the head of the stairs and turn so I can see Brilliant. what the fuck is happening. I don't know that I want to use burn a dash, <clears throat> um, meta. So, um, so yeah, you know, we could have just gone to the end, and there's a long. Is the professor dead? No, <laughs> well, a little. Uh, yeah. it's, he's fine. He's, he's fine. fine. He's Everybody, fine. stop accusing me of murder. Like, he's gonna be fine. What? What the hell is happening? Ghosts, get out! Ghosts. Um. Well, and with that, I will. I will draw my sword and I will cast uh, uh, mage armor. But oh, I will. I will. Oof! I guess I'll hold an action to attack any ghost that I see near me because xander has no idea what the hell's going on so I'll, so i will hold it i'll hold an attack action any any ghost that is near me that i can i need to attack but i do burn one of my last few spells yeah that's fine you fine yeah you fine uh and i think that's me unfortunately Hmm. Hmm. All right. So it's at this point. Yet again, you hear no. those of you. I think actually. So who went into, um, uh, into Tacky's bar? Who went into, uh, the keel? Uh, the keel hall. I think that was um, just me just, and Flynn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So then, uh, Ferio having just. Regained. But he didn't see me. I snuck in the back. That's true. But you recognize yeah. his voice. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And as you recognize his voice, you hear him again saying, get away from us. And he, you, uh, forceful slam goes off. Yeah, okay. So 17 definitely hits. Uh, and that, and so you see the, like, so you see like this, like this wall here suddenly just indents. <laughs> with like anyone who looks at it closely can kind of see almost the outline of a figure as it's slammed into the wall. Taking Ghost. 15 points of force damage. Uh, Look at that roll. Force to be reckoned with. We should be able to leave just because of that. And then Tacky. Peace out. Uh, is turns over. Delphina, you're up. All right. So far, nobody, knock on wood, is possessed anymore. And only one of your friends is unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was like, well, oh, shit. Progress. Um, <laughs> so in terms of a Saturday night, it's not bad, you know? No. Right? Uh, hold on. That sounds like a typical Saturday night. I mean, I'm going to cast. Certainly is out here on Cold Hard Witch. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to 
cast yet another spell because these are fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to cast Sanctuary. Ward a creature within range against attack. And I'm going to put it on Zalvana. Interesting. Display. Okay. So Sanctuary is a level one aberration. You ward a creature within range against attack. Any spell, as until the spell ends, any creature who targets the warded creature with an attack or a harmful spell, like a wisdom saving throw. On a fail save, chooses a new target or lose the attack or spell. Interesting. I wonder if possession counts as a spell. Yes. Yes. Yes, it does. Interesting. 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 Okay. 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 All right. All right. Um, I'll have to look into that. See what the see what the good people say. Um. All right. So that being said. Anything else, Delfina? So you have warded Fariel with Sanctuary. Yes. Lovely. Well done. All right, then. Uh, anything else? Um, Delfina doesn't want to attack anybody. <laughs> she doesn't want to attack any of her party. So unless she physically sees one of the little ghosty baddie things, she, no. But does anybody need healing? Zelvana is hurt. Can I cast... I mean, the professor is like kind of unconscious, so like um, Delphi, I'm, at, gotta, I'm at least gotta, still standing. As, as a cleric from a different Bye. game, I got to get you to clericify a little better here. So like, anybody hurt? Like, just raise your hand if you need healing. Is, it, is anybody hurt? Does anybody need healing? Or like, he's not raising his hand, so I assume he's, he's fine. Well, he, he's does, fine. he doesn't need it, so. Um, I'll you see that big friend X. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, can I can I can I cure wounds on uh Zalvana if I walk over there? Having cast your I think... sanctuary, which, sanctuary is little, which, is, is... which is a bonus action, but it does so that's your level one. Do you level have a cantrip? Can cantrip? Uh, I don't think anybody wants firebolt. I can mending. <laughs> can I use mending to heal? <laughs> <laughs> you, to be mended. You, you had the, you me. had this hole in your chest, so I went ahead yeah. and mended I'll that mend shot. It. How do you mend a broken <laughs> heart? <laughs> wow, wow. Oh my god. So you can certainly repair her outfit where the wounds were, <laughs> but uh, not necessarily heal her. Uh, uh, yes. Oh, maybe you have a potion. Hold on. <laughs> One moment. Potion of healing. I have one. I give it to Zelvana. Okay, so you're going to you're going to move to Zelvana. Yes. And give her a potion. Yes. You're going to move to Zelvana. Yes. And give her a potion. Zelvana, who is who is alive and at the yes. door and, and, and at the door. Yeah. And on the way out. Yes. All right. No, it's cool. It's cool. No one. Clear giver. Stream. No one tell Pike. <laughs> All right. So, Don't. anything His else? Character's dead. I hope everyone remembers this moment. Yeah, you'll never know. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Oh my god, I'm dying. <laughs> I mean, he hasn't failed the death save You're not yet. dying though. That's the thing. He, he's right, but uh, say, but he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's. he's He's not alive, but he's not wrong. Like, oh. Raise his hand, okay? If you were right. injured, so, raise your hand. Uh, so you give a potion <laughs> to Zilvana. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that will be your turn. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Flynn? Yeah? You want to do anything? Yeah. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hoist the professor up over my shoulder. Oh, why? Because he can't move. He didn't he raise his hand. He's fine. Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna walk up for him. <laughs> um, I'm gonna I'm gonna hoist the professor up and be like, "Look, this is your own squabble. Tear up your own bar. Just let us get out of here." And I'm just gonna start making my way 
towards towards the door with the professor. Excellent. Like he's got to weigh like like what like eighty pounds like it's just can't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely. All right. So let's see here. Nope. No. Okay. Oh man, Flynn. So as you pick up the professor, so uh, I'm gonna make a. I have to make a death saving throw. First one is a that's 18. a success. Nice. Oh, so, okay. Professor is got one in the success column. So as he's kind of floating in the ethereal, like he reaches out with his own mind, he's like, well, this isn't right. I should be doing something else. <laughs> <laughs> Is he talking to me? Like, do I hear him? Oh, no, this is the professor in his own, like, realm of it, it, the twilight between falling asleep and being awake. Can I see to the astral plane? I feel like I need to learn how to do that. Can you see the <laughs> astral plane right now? No, no. You're a little, fo you're a little, you're a little focused elsewhere, I'll be honest. <laughs> All right, so... Um, Flynn. Yes. <laughs> As you pick up the professor, oh my god! <laughs> you you feel forces like grabbing at him, as if like they're trying to clutch him and hold on to him. So there's actually a little bit, almost of a grapple going on right here. Uh, so you can go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry. Let, let's play that game, shall we? So, roll off. Yeah. Uh, so you got it. You got it. Uh, Better get your roll off. Can mm -hmm. I? Can I add a psionic die to this? Oh. <gasps> yes. Yes. I will let you add a psionic die to this. All right. All right. So, as as you feel these these cre these entities, this energy, sort of reaching around and trying to grasp onto the professor either pulling him back towards the bar or just keeping him here in place. Like, they seem drawn to him for some reason. All right. Yeah, because he's weird. The, and, he's, <laughs> and he's opened his mind up to the darkness. <laughs> oh, yeah, got it one. Uh, so that was an 18 for that oh. grapple. Okay, all right, all right. <gasps> I got a 15 on the 20. And I got a five with the psionic. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> nice. So you feel that grip, grip, and then it's like, ah! and so you're able to sort of pull him away. So as you try to move away, you're moving at half speed, but you are able to keep it going. So okay. this pressure is still on you, but you are successful. Uh, all right, friends. Fariel, you see Flynn, like, go to pick up the professor, and he starts backing up like, all right. Settle your own, we're out of here, all right? And then from there he stops, and then it's as if he's like trying to hold on to the professor as the professor seems to be getting stretched out inhumanly long away from Flynn. <laughs> okay. As Amy's face is like. I'm just like, oh and, Lord. I didn't um, know this. Okay. Professor is still unconscious, right? Yes, the professor is still unconscious. How do we do, how do you, F and DM, do um, like feeding someone a potion? Is that my action to do that? Oh, no. So uh, for me, how potions we, are do? a bonus action because I like action economy. Okay. So, so. okay. A bonus cool. to even feed it to someone? A bonus to even feed it to someone. Sweet. Nice. I if, like that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Cause especially because if they're unconscious, then you're just like, so. Okay. So, yeah. So then I'm going to take the potion that I have and feed that to the professor. As right. my bonus What's the, uh, what is the potion you have? Is it a, a regular? Uh, I think it's like a baby one, like a regular Good. one. So that's <laughs> yeah. a 2d4 it's plus. The potion of giant growth. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's so, a two d four plus four, just a basic so, potion of healing. Plus side, the professor is now harder to move. <laughs> <laughs> He's enormous. 
And right, then, so, uh, would, would you roll for the professor? Oh, I, I, I did not. I will. That is uh, three and a four, so seven plus two, nine. Nice. Not mm. too shabby. Meep, meep. So he comes back to life with nine. Okay. And, and, Fl- then... and Flynn has him. And, yeah, and Flynn's currently got him on his shoulder. You can just move his token. Yeah, are we near the professor or is the professor by us? Oh, yeah. So the professor is. So, yeah. The, so, be on the right layer. So, mm-hmm. there we go. <laughs> this has been Jingles with Ryan. <laughs> All right. Jingles with Ryan. Okay. So, I'll move there so that I would have been close enough. Absolutely. Um, and now. Oh, and then Delphina, make sure that you've moved up to Zilvana to feed her that potion. That's good. She's right All next right. to me. <laughs> uh cool anything else fairy yes i am going to use my action to cast fairy fire nice excellent mm-hmm. excellent smithers um <laughs> and i'm just gonna drop it on my best guess as to where i think these ghosts are that's fair one might say it's fairy fire Oh, 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 oh. Fire. Do we just hear Pike just scream again? <laughs> He's like, "Oh, I want to go back to being dead." Weirdly enough, oh, so my ears. So Sorry, you see Pike's form, like <sighs> as he starts to <laughs> inhale and exhale again, but he has yet to regain consciousness. Oh God damn it! He's not in here. <laughs> Slap him. <laughs> I surprised your throat. This is how we got to the problem in the first place. Flynn <laughs> throws the body to the floor. He's not even in there. Uh, that's a waste of time. Yeah, so fairy fire. Um all right. Where do you fair fire? How okay. Help me. It's a 20-foot cube. It's a 20-foot cube, which means four square by four square. Four square by four square. Yep. Okay. So um, kind of kind of tell me where you want it centered on, and then I can blast that up. Okay. I'm gonna so I know that the professor was recently possessed and I was recently possessed. So I'm gonna guess that they're near us. Um it would be unfortunate to hit my fellow party members, but and yet <laughs> I also might have to. Um yeah. I'm gonna say where's my if, if I can do like these four and then up this way four. Oh, okay. So you want to, uh, whoop, 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 whoop. So, so just like, so I'm, I'm crystal like, here. You want there, yeah, to there, yeah. But, but that would be to there and then, and then, so that's your fairy fire. Yeah. Love it. Okay. So uh, I will, I need, I'm saying I'm, there's gonna be deck saves, saves yeah, everybody. Yeah. So uh, it's okay. Flynn, Flynn is a dex build. Yeah. <laughs> the dex flex hey. build. Uh, so uh, go ahead, Flynn. Give me a dex save, and then I will. I'll roll for the professor at disadvantage because he's still unconscious. So oh, thir- no. Thirteen. Well, the professor rolled a two. Oh <laughs> god. One. So three. So he 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 did not he did not make that. Uh, the save is 13. The save is 13. Oh, nice. Yeah. So uh, you suddenly see the professor. Like. No, no. Where, he, where is he? Where's the professor? He's not here. Where is he? So the professor suddenly like lights up in sparkling what colored lights? It's silver. Love it. Sparkling silver lights. And as he does that, that is all you see light up. More <laughs> her. Well, that was a waste. Mm. Was it? Because it kind of seems like now your path is clear to exit. True. At least we know they're not there. Yeah. So let's. Uh, so uh, I don't. I don't, ha- I don't have a silver, unfortunately. So let's just say that um, unacceptable. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> what, are what are you? I'm. I'm shirking in my duties. But um, <laughs> let me go ahead and. At least make take the 
terrible red X off him, so he's not dead. All right, so <laughs> I mean, uh, it's, it's worth noting Fairy Fire is also concentration, so she could just stop if she doesn't want him to be silver anymore. Oh, absolutely. Oh yeah, so, I guess that's true, and I would know that. So as soon as none of the ghosts popped up, I would drop that because I don't want the ghosties to have advantage on the professor. Um, absolutely. Uh, so Zilvana, it is your turn. Yay! So. Um, in no short order, you have seen Flynn like struggling with the like with the professor's body, who seemed to be getting pulled the other direction. And as you did that, then Fairyel goes no, and like lights up the room in this sort of cube of dancing lights, which lit the professor up like a Twilight character. Um, but then nothing else seemed to really start sparkling so it almost as soon as it went off it almost it then is, has immediately extinguished and there is poor delphina's feather kind of like looking like mm, mm, mm. so uh that's what you got oh and you also took a potion i believe your your character had ha, did you, you did you heal yourself because you're kind of uh, sitting yes. at four yep. so. yeah let me let me change that really quick i mean i just want you to be better <sighs> Why? Sorry, it's not letting me. Um, no worries. Is it updated on your uh, D and D Beyond? Let me let me do it there. Okay. And while you do that, All right? So now yeah. I'm at eleven. Great. Um, there it is. So um, now, um, so I can cast Healing Word for the Professor right now. Yes, you can. Okay. So let me do that. 1d4 plus 5. Uh, 8. 8 for the healing word? Yes. Love it. Yeah, I know. He, he will absolutely take that 8. So let's see here. Love it. Yeah. Right. So the professor. You could pull his status marker off too. Oh, that's right. Look at Mr. Taylor um, wanting everything to be up to date. All and right. can um um can I like help Flynn? Like, can I walk over to Flynn and help him carry the professor? Absolutely. Yeah. Any anyone can you can always add the uh the aid to another party member. Uh your healing word was a bonus action. Okay. So you still have an action left. So yeah, you can absolutely lend aid, which will give Flynn advantage as well yeah. uh, whenever if Ooh. if perchance he has to make another strength saving throw i couldn't imagine another grapple check coming because it's going to come it's happening it's real but. i hate you i hate you so much <laughs> <laughs> look you walked into this bar all right I... <laughs> I was on the way to the hotel yeah, Sandy's <laughs> like, oh, oh i'm gonna have words for my party members <laughs> All right. Is that the right spot for? Yeah, to totally. Be? Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Right. I think I'm done. And also, totally. I'm like, seriously, what the crap is going on? Yeah, let's <laughs> go. Can you right. go, please, and you can explain things. Yeah, that's what I'm trying Part to do. I'm trying to get him out of here. I'm trying to help. I'm okay. trying to help. All right. So, uh, yeah. as you start hauling the professor back, <laughs> uh xander it is your turn you see all of your friends well uh, so you see like half the party seem to surge forward to grab the professor and there seems to be this sort of epic tug of war happening as the professor's body is being uh, inhumanly stretched and it's directions. all gone D does, yeah. it st does it still seem like they're struggling against that yes yes so How Flynn was able to Flynn was able to uh, beat the grapple, so he was able to move, but he's moving at like half speed. So he's getting the professor, but he's having to struggle against the uh, the the pull. So with Zalvana already aiding, uh, I mean, can would another? You can only put so many hands on a person to to aid. Would, would it oh. do any good for me to go over to try to aid as well? So I will take a meta moment and you can't advantage an advantage. So with Zilvana aiding him, he's already like Flynn already has advantage for the role. Um, if there's anything else you could do to maybe uh, ease the pressure on the opposite end. Uh, well, there's nothing that I can do to ease the pressure on the opposite end. Uh, but my, my thought was rather than, not to give him advantage on the grapple beat, but if more of us are pulling him, does that increase the speed from half speed to like, Three quarter speed or something. Oh, so that that that's my thought in the aid is can I can I go over and help pull away? Not not specifically adding to the advantage to the grapple. Yeah, that advantage. logic seems sound to me. 
uh then i will do that i i am uh i do have my blade out but i will i will come in and try to get you know an arm around flynn and the professor and try to try to drag to to help him go a little faster when his next move is love it all right then so and i mean the whole time muttering like could have just gone with me to the fucking hotel. <laughs> Could be having a sandwich and a nap right now. A sandwich is probably go, not a fish sandwich. Fish bread glow. stack well, thing. We have the spirit back in the body. <laughs> I'll do it then. I'll do it then too. <laughs> oh. All right. Flynn, I need yes. you to roll a charisma saving throw. Can you just leave me alone? Like, <laughs> <laughs> just leave me alone. All right, all right, charisma saving throw. Here we go. Eighteen. Nice. Okay, with that eighteen, you feel like these hands reach out and sort of grasp not around your mind but inside your brain however as a psionic can, can, <laughs> can i like my flavor on this yeah, um go to is, go to is very terrible and nerdy um so much like how the nine-tailed fox lives in a cage inside of naruto's mind like if they reach in what they're gonna like yes. see is like the three eyes like glow in the silhouette of the three-eyed wolf in my head go <laughs> like there's a lot more in here than you want to deal with i love that i love that <laughs> so as so as as the ghost or the spirit the entity known as tacky reaches in he's like oh, i have to stop him and he he's suddenly inside a a dark cave and it's pitch black and then suddenly from the darkness you see two eyes and then a third eye open and then stepping forward is this majestic ice majestic. blue wolf that just sort of emerges from the darkness and as it half growls half grunts what does it say to the spirit that enters its mind um <laughs> This mind is not yours to take. Oh, nice. <laughs> and then I was like, ow. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. That beer was worse uh. than I thought. <laughs> All right. That's I'm a, awesome. I'm a little disappointed he didn't say, Wolfie Daytona. Glad to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> missed opportunity. No oh, talk kinetic wolf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, awesome sauce. Uh Delfina, all your friends are trying. Uh what you going to do? What you going to do when they come for you? Mm -mm -mm. Um do I have to attack somebody? You absolutely don't have to. No one's going to make you. You can be a good person. Now. <laughs> oh, 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 a good <laughs> I'm just saying, like. I, oh can, my God. can she be a good person since she invoked help from a devil? I mean, not only did she invoke help from the devil, but then she Just also didn't. Ignored the unconscious she also didn't the aid, like the person dying so you know I hated like, the other two questionable choices have been made like this is this is where we're at i'm but, imagining her mother and grandmother on whatever plane they're on going did we tell her to heal people who were unconscious yeah like yeah i'm, sh I'm sure we told her to heal people i'm sorry did she choose life domain i didn't think it was lie domain but anyway. <laughs> oh. 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 I know. If you mean to Delphi, she's going to call for Levi again. <laughs> You're picking on me. All right. So, God. Um, Delphi. Delphi is the BBEG. Delphi, you want me? You want me to? You want me to friendly, friendly neighborhood DM you for a second? Oh God. Hmm. Yeah. So, as a life cleric, you have the ability called Turn Undead. Oh my God. Zombie, which, zombie people. Which allows you to drive the undead away from you 
and any any undead within 30 feet. I do that. So with that, <laughs> I you do that. could very quickly solve this problem. <laughs> Uh, to what, where is it at? Uh, features traits. Where's my insight? Divine domain, harness, divine power. So as an action, you present your holy symbol and, and speak a prayer. Each yes. undead creature that can hear or see you within 30 feet must make a wisdom saving throw. If it fails it, it is then turned for one minute or until it takes damage. The turn creature must spend its turn trying to move as far away from you as possible and can't willingly move within a space of 30 feet with you. It also can't take reaction and for its action, it can only use the dash to try to escape from the effect. If that prevents it from moving, there's nowhere else to move. The creature takes the dodge action. Yes, I do that. And, <laughs> yeah, I do that. <laughs> I'm so glad I came up with that idea all on my own. I, I know. That's brilliant. That. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, clerically speaking, she's on point. All right. So. That, that'll be Ryan's new little snippet series, clerically speaking. Clerically speaking. Yeah, exactly. Oh my God. I'd love it. But clerically speaking and monkey business, I feel like could be the two things. And then I'm like, <laughs> anyway. Um, I'm going to move next to them. So I. So can you move next to them. And spirits. what is your holy symbol? Eldith, a symbol of Eldith. I sim- love it. You present it and you speak forth a prayer. Go ahead and give me a little bit of flavor if you'd be so kind. Uh, That'll work. Eldeth loves me, this I know. <laughs> oh my God. Because my mama tells me so. <laughs> my mama tells me so. Get rid then- of them. Oh my god. Ooh. So this this light emanates out from you. This beautiful, radiant, powerful light. Uh and I need to make three wisdom saving throws. Yes. Let's see how well this goes. Yes. 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 All right. So uh that's Tacky Macky and Steve, right? Not the professor. Getting <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh what's the DC? Plot twist: The professor's 100. also undead. 100. 100. 100. <laughs> All right. So your DC is a fourteen currently. Uh, I rolled an eleven, yes. a fifteen, Damn. and a five. Yes. So two of the entities, like those of you who are gripping the professor's body and pulling on him, like you suddenly, like you almost all fall over. Like the energy that was holding him in place is suddenly it's gone. Like it's just not there as you almost feel this wind howling gale comes, go screaming out of the room as fast as it can, or at least it will on its turn. But for the sake of the rest of the show, let's go ahead and expedite this process. So as the force releases the professor, all of you almost in a Scooby-Doo-esque kind of tumble, fall back, uh, 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 hit the ground. Yes. And the professor, still unconscious on the ground in front of you, lays there. Yes, you did. Great job. Uh, Excellent job. That was, that was pretty amazing, actually. Uh, should maybe we go now? Mm-hmm. Um, yes. Yeah. Everyone make a perception check. Oh, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> Natural 20. <laughs> In the perception check. 16. 13, uh, 16. 9,000. Uh, 10. That's a 9. Uh, uh, 17 on the Kraken. What's that? 17 on the Kraken. That was 17 smart. 17 on the Kraken. Shit, 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 remains oh i'm what using detect do? detect thoughts detect thoughts <laughs> flex detect thoughts uh do you do you actually detect thoughts i do have detect thoughts i'm gonna use it yes because i gotta need to find out where the professor is because he's not in here nice okay so as you reach out with detect thoughts this entity comes forward 
you know, you recognize it to be tacky from the bar. He says, I'm sorry, my brothers, they fought and I got hurt. I tried to stop them. I'm so cold. And then Tacky disappears. Is that something we all saw or just Flynn? That at, all of you saw that. So as, as the detect thoughts went off, like you all kind of saw, like you all, so Flynn heard with his detect thoughts what the ghost was saying, but, but all of you saw the image sort of looking around and then fixing his eyes on Flynn and then talking directly to him. But none of you heard what it said. We should go. <laughs> yeah. What did he say? He said he fought his brothers and he got hurt. He did, we got to, we got to get out of here. We got to go. We got to go. We help him? Go. We'll figure, we, we, we'll, we're going to figure that out on the way. Let's, Delphi, we are all exhausted. We, there's nothing more we can do here tonight. Let's go. Oh, okay. Well, well, maybe we can come back and I can try to help uh, him. Uh-huh. Uh, can I, yeah. can I, can I start escorting her? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Oh yeah. All Absolutely. Out of the grumpy moose. Okay. We're going to go ahead and take our break at this oh. point. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, God. well fought everybody. Well fought. Oh. Hello, and welcome back, friends. I am the Friendly Neighborhood Dungeon Master, otherwise known as the Effin DM, and this, of course, is Cold Hard Witch, where your friends get together, get possessed, and then get knocked the hell out by your other friends. <laughs> so, uh, in this last, in the, in the first half of the game, our party had walked into the Grumpy Moose. Not a Grumpy Moose, but the Grumpy Moose, which is, of course, one of the five tavern center bars in the town of Bremen. Flynn then proceeded to punch the hell out of the professor, who had been possessed by the ghost. And after a much muckabout beat down fight with my dissonant whispers going off and Delphina absolutely knowing all of her features and traits for her class. Uh, we had the party drive out these entities, these spirits, but not before uh, Flynn was subjected to one last sorrowful memory as he realizes that the brothers who built the five taverns, let's just say, did not end things on amicable terms. Uh, they are now going to buried treasures, the inn in town, right? My sweet, sweet sleep-deprived harbingers. Y yes, yes. If you look right here, here are the footprints on where I was headed that way. And then those yeah, are the ones right? where I had to turn around and run back. To find out why the bar was making noise. Yeah, this is the exact moment that I did an about face. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, so and, unless there are objections, um, I think we should do that. No, we should, we should, we should go. Um, <laughs> uh, hey, random question. Um, random don't everybody question. speak up at once. Does anyone know how to perform a seance? Um... I mean, we watched that woman do it that one time. Yeah, I, I like, I we watched it one time. I don't know if I could bullshit my way through. I don't know if I should bullshit my way through a seance, you know? Well, no, please bullshit your way through a seance. That'll really. Don't you have to like <laughs> jump up and down and throw some feathers and? Well, I don't, I don't remember her doing any of that. Last well, time. we do, and you can get feathers for us, right? You should collect some feathers for us. Oh, do you want me to do that now? I can go get some. No, you know, uh, no, that's a, it's a morning type thing. Yeah, Doesn't let's, the let's professor know the how to do a seance. I will, I will look at his. No, uh, let me, let me ask him. Hey, his, professor, <laughs> you know how to do a seance? No, I don't know how to do a seance. Yeah, so what? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> out of ten oh. ventriloquism there. <laughs> do well, not I asked, I asked everybody if they needed healing, and he didn't raise his hand. Does he still need healing? He can't. Delphi, he's. You can't raise your hand when you're unconscious. You know that, oh. right? Well, and and it's. Conscious. It seems as though that his mind is not in his body at the moment. We don't 
know where that is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. L- little, little good news, bad news. Um, the body is breathing. Spirit <laughs> is nowhere to be found. Oh. I mean, to be honest, that's not really that different than the professor on a yeah. normal day. So let's yeah. not yeah. maybe maybe let's not oversell <laughs> this. He's just that's not talking. To, that's why I want to go to bed first. Like, <laughs> I'm sure. Sleep on it. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Sleep on it. All right. So, friends, you're making your way south through town. You're having these wonderful discussions with a very weekend at Bernie's professor right now. <laughs> um, so, uh, I, as I, Flynn, he is over your shoulders. Yes? Uh, yes, unless somebody wants to, like... Fully, we can yeah. Bernie him like this. If not, oh. he's gonna he's gonna look like a fresh kill. Over, <laughs> I'm 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 still helping you carry him. Okay. Oddly <laughs> enough, you you drag in this very limp body, kind of shuffle walking him. Like no one's batting an eye at this. So <laughs> I don't know what happens in the town of Bremen, but like, <laughs> well, there's also only 150 people here. So I mean, also, also true. They're like, oh, they now there's, so are there? Like, now there's only one. Are there? Are <laughs> all dead? So so there are only 145 people here. <laughs> oh jeez yeah so let's let's go and we'll put him in the closet so we have a little more room in our room and let's figure out what's happening love it love it so players you get to the buried treasure oh oh yeah oh <laughs> oh oh uh so uh, as you walk in the door you are uh greeted by Cora Molfoon. Oh man, God, I, God, God, I love RP names. That is just like, <laughs> is, is there nothing better in the world? All right, so let's. Boop. Uh, so. Oh, she Cora, looks nice. Yeah, yeah. She actually, she has this kind of like a low key kind of a grandma vibe. Um, mm-hmm. uh, uh, it's an older woman, but she absolutely instantly suspicious. Like you, you come in, and as opposed to Mackie Daytona, normal human bartender, Cora is just like, "Hello, oh, oh, look!" And then she sees the professor, kind of, and she's, "Oh, oh my goodness, is, is he all right? Is everything all right? Are you, are you in need of help? Do you need assistance?" Yes, no, that's pretty much how he always is. It's, it's fine. Do you know anything about we ran ghosts or the Daytona brothers or a room for the? Do you happen night? to have a séance room in the back? Do you know why the fisherman was accosting us? Does he still need help? Are there pine cones that we could go collect? I'm sorry. This like, little, I'm, I'm, sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. There's a lot of questions at once. We pay in cash. So like. What? Oh, gold. He meant. So you. So as you say, as you say, you'll pay in cash. She, like she like her eyes visibly lighten up, though she tries not to make too big of a deal about it. But everyone go ahead and roll a perception check for me. Oh shit! Oh, <laughs> uh, why is it gotta be bad? Why is it no, gotta be bad? Oh, ignore the second. Oh come on! It's a ten. Uh, it's skated on. So that's a twenty-four on a kraken for me. Uh, love it. That is a sixteen for me. Brilliant. Uh, I got so Delfina, which of these, which of these three rolls is the one I should? The first actually... one, whatever the first one is, I don't right, know what it. the hell's love going it. on here. So Flynn, coming in at a ten, <laughs> like you look around the room, and this, uh, so this end caters to treasure seekers, uh, specifically ones who pan for the treasure that comes in from the riverbank along the in the warmer weather. Note, I said in the warmer weather. Yeah, it's been uh, winning here for like thirty years, right? <laughs> it's been, yeah. yeah. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. during this winter, uh, this establishment has not had many visitors. Now, uh, with a twenty-four, was that Xander? That was and a crit. Brilliant. Um, so you notice that there is, in fact, um, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I say everyone get cracking. Um, so you notice that there are signs around the inn of perhaps like there, there's a, a man's sort of satchel in the corner, uh, like a trap, like a just a younger 
like there's a pair of boots that are currently by the side of the bar. Like you see evidence of a younger male presence mm. in the bar, but all of those things with this 24 haven't been used for a while. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to that momentarily. So, um, but uh, everyone else like this, again, you, this this inn, like it has a, a bit of a, like some of the, the knickknacks on the wall appear to be treasure that maybe one of the more grateful patrons have sort of gifted back to Cora and she sort of proudly put them on display and like underneath some of them, she's got carved in the wall, like from like Huthar and then like from, uh, from, you know, from Rim and these sort of things, like all these wonderful sort of knickknacks that have just sort of got, she, that have, so she's just filled the place with memories. Um, though it looks like they're all memories of a better day. So uh, she says, oh, I'm, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I, 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 I'm a little frazzled. There was a lot of questions. Uh, um, uh, what was, what, what did you want to know? Uh, do you, do you have a room for rent? Of course, of course. I have many, many rooms for rent. Uh, however many you wish. Uh, I, um, was, <sighs> Take a breath. Yes, my, my son usually helps me with these things, but... Uh, uh, yeah, what's your yeah. son's name? Hmm? What's your, what's your son's name? Oh, uh, who are? Who are? Okay. All right. Like, oh, thank God. Is he is he out? Uh, exactly. uh, <laughs> is is he out doing some some shopping or some some gathering or? Uh... No, he, perhaps he's been gone for two months. Um, he started he started dating this girl, and uh, uh, that was his uh, first mistake. Well. Uh, <sighs> don't, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't need to burden you with my no, woes. No, 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 tell us what happened. Delphi loves helping people. <laughs> sorry. So, <laughs> so these two, these two tieflings, came to the inn at one point. And I mind you, I don't have any problem with anyone coming in my my establishment. You know, we we are we are open for business to any and all in the Dale. Mm. Um, and, and they offered my son sanctuary at their castle. Uh, days before he had found this, this pendant, uh, looks like a, like a dark crystal. And it just, he became obsessed with it. And then shortly after that, these, these people showed up and they said that he had been called to join them and that he should come with them and then he left he just left and i i don't understand He's oh no boy. don't, don't oh yeah cry. And i'm gonna, I'm go gonna over and hug her yeah we're, we're both gonna go over and hug her <laughs> while they do that does that maybe i can roll a history check does that ring a bell for either the cult that we are now somewhat as you with. come forward Zolvana mm. she recoils from you and points to your chest what is where did you get that as you look around your neck is your badge of office the black sword of the knights of the black sword Ah. Didn't we just find it? You're... You're one of them. But quite newly, one of them, actually. We might be able to help you. Help me. You... You took my son. Well, we actually... No, we didn't. We, we, we literally we started, like, yesterday. Like, we, have, we have deposed the old <laughs> leadership. Where is he? Is he alive? Is he okay? Did you? Did you I don't. I, to my knowledge, I don't. I don't even know him. But I will try my hardest to find him and get him back to you. You don't even know if he's there. 
I just started this position. I I don't know. I'm so sorry. Did they have? Did those tieflings happen to say what the name of that castle? There were. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think. I think I, I'm so sorry. I, I know you need places to stay. I do. no. Well, we can leave. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. If, if we could sleep here tonight, then we can go in the morning and we can go see if he's still there. I'll, I'll go look for you. Roll a persuasion. Come on, come on, come on. I will, I will gift her my d20 advantage. Yeah, remember, remember, remember you have bardic inspiration. Oh, yeah, you do. Okay. Uh, what do I use first? I got lots. So you can, so uh, your, so the D20 will give you advantage on your roll and then the Bardic Inspiration, you can add on to the roll as well. So I would roll with the advantage first just to see where you came out. And then we'll see where that, uh, that D6 uh, or that yeah, the D6. Yeah. comes in handy. So, okay, roll so persuasion. With I wrote, no, that's perception. Did it not go to my thing? Oh, let me see. You did two persuasion. You have a 16 and a nine okay. on persuasion. Yeah. So that means you're, so your, your base roll is a 16. Okay. You go, and, now, you go. and now add the D6 roll to it. Now add let's, that D6 let's, let's roll to that. it. I want to, yeah, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to do that. I think. I think it's, it's worth. It's not popping up in roll 20 for some oh, reason. It's just hey. in the book. 17, eight. So 18, no, 16. So, yeah. 18. So 18, 18. with an 18 which was the role to beat. <laughs> she she looks at you, Delphi, and she sees the goodness in you, like just the pure sweetness that is Delphi. Didn't you just talk with a devil about... No. Shh, shh, like, shh. She literally just summoned a devil. Uh, ignored a dead man on the floor. I, but, I, you know. I, I would say that with telekinesis because that's how we work in this party. Uh, <laughs> look, y'all want to get your long rest in or not? Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shut up. Yeah. It was so, so hard getting here. Shut up. <laughs> she, yeah, she's like, do you have no idea how long it's been since I've actually slept in a bed? All right. So. Last time I was in when I got turned into an ice cube, it has exactly. been a Y'all long it. day. Um, so she looks at you and like you're you're pleading your your insistence that you will help her. She sees the truth in that, and she l- looks at you. She does not look at Zalvana, but she says, "Very well. You have the rooms at the at the top of the of the stairs." Uh, I will um, be up to see if you need any, any food or anything. Oh, well, you know, if if you don't want to, I, I could just do it if you show me where the kitchens are and I could like clean and stuff before before I go to sleep since it's just you. Well, that would, I, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't ask you to do that. You're. Oh, I don't, I don't mind, I, I, it's, it's okay, I'll do it. Yeah. Before sleep, and then no, sleep after. No, you know, no, I just DM while while they're talking. Can I? Yeah. Just just motion to Zalvana to maybe. Yeah, like, I was just like, about to say, like I'm just like gonna, a, I'm like a I'm put gonna, that thing mm-hmm. inside your shirt just for now. Yeah. Yeah, it's going in here. Yeah. This worked out okay for us at the moment, but in the future it might not be so so. <laughs> You say maybe, maybe don't be flashing them credentials around to everybody, or at least read the room. But, read the, the and, room, Zolvana. And to be fair, Zolvana, like you don't remember having that. Do we remember yeah, seeing gonna, it on her? What's that? Do we remember seeing it on her when she when came back you, from the Thunderdome? When you departed, when you departed from the, um, when you departed from the castle, she was not wearing it, though. She did take it off of Cadroth when she killed him. Okay. Oh yeah, I did. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna surreptitiously just make sure that I'm not wearing right. Same yeah. life. <laughs> life. <laughs> Regular okay, pendant. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm okay. Good. Yeah. No. All right. All right. Uh, so uh, she, she, her eyes well up, and she. That would be lovely. Okay. Thank you. No, no problem. I'll just, I'll go with you and you, t- you show me what needs to be done and I'll get to work on it. Yes, yes, of course. Um, uh, would, 
do the rest of you require anything? Uh, your you, you have your rooms. Ah, I will. We'll make a lovely meal, mm -hmm. and then to tomorrow? you know, I, I think I think maybe we'll just we'll get settled and um and we we'll, we won't bother you for for a little while and and then maybe we can get some more info from you on on what your son looks like and 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 when this all took place and and that maybe that will help us uh uh figure out where where he is. Of course, of course, of course. Yes, please. Any any anything, anything you can do. And she looks right at Zolvan to help me. I would greatly appreciate it. He was, he's my own, he's my own, he's my own. Of course, boy. of course. I, I will do as much as I can to help. I promise. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. And now, uh, now here you've come into my place of business and I'm start blubbering like a knucklehead trout. Oh, oh uh, we have that effect <laughs> on people. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, yeah, hello, welcome to the buried treasure. I am Cora, and I will, uh, I'll be your keeper for the night. Uh, all right, uh, well, up to bed. The rest of you, you look, if you don't mind my saying so, god awful. You just look like you've been driven through the nine hells. Yep. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, yeah. this, this mm -hmm. unfortunately happens a lot. Um, so we're used to it, but thank you for calling it out. Um, and it's, well, it's my nature and she walks up and sort of goes to like pinch Xander on the cheek <laughs> I, I will allow hey. it hey girl hey, hey, girl, hey. With, with, a, with, a, with a wistful a very wistful look in my eye oh so does everybody want um I think I can make fish porridge for dinner no, I'm good. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna eat again. Lynn and I ate earlier sandwiches. It's fine. I, I like fish. Thanks. You want any more? Okay, I'll make some for Savannah. Do you? Do you want some? Uh, I. I mean, I'm hungry. I'd love to have something not fish, but this is Icewind Dale, and options are kind of limited. So, yay, fish porridge. I. I can try to grill up some trout steaks as well. It's actually, that would be fantastic. Still, it's still fish, you but know, actually, I actually uh, trout steak doesn't. Well, I've, I've got a I've got a, a killer spice rub, which makes it taste. You got a spice rub? Killer, of course. <laughs> Sick. You got a spice rub? <laughs> that Wait, that no. sounds. Why do you, think, why do you think they call this place the buried treasure? Oh. oh. Oh, all right. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and Amy, like sixteen bat of the eyes. There is like oh, <laughs> best bartender ever. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> oh man, I love this party. All right, so. Uh, Cora moves in. Cora moves in to go ahead and start getting your dinner ready for you. Uh, party members, anything else you wish to ask of her before she moves into full on innkeeper mode? No, I, I think we should get settled and talk about what the fuck is happening. And then once she has settled her nerves a little and is no longer upset, we can maybe ask for some more information. Sounds good. All right. Now, Delphi. Uh, you are going to be helping Cora? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So then uh, Delphi and Cora will move into the kitchen to start mm -hmm. cooking. Uh, very shortly, it smells fantastic. As, as I'm sure the four of you, five, four of you, and the fifth unconscious one of you uh, head upstairs. Oh, man, I just can't wait till we start force feeding the professor food. Oh, man. Please do it. <laughs> He's got to eat, too. Does he eat? Come on now. He does come eat. On. What he doesn't do is sleep, which apparently he's now so catching great. up on all the nights he's missed. So, I mean, I, I like to think that he's unconscious, but his eyes are open, just like when he's not sleeping, just like boring oh. a hole in us. Oh, absolutely. And like, it's one of those things where you're like, uh, like the, <laughs> if we can find like. like a blanket or something over his face. Well, I was going to say like a strip of cloth or something and tie it yeah. on. Uh, as though he's a blind man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 uh, 
All right, friends. So party members, you move upstairs. Yes. 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 All right. All right. So I couldn't tell if that was a question or a statement. Mm -hmm. I couldn't tell if that was a question or a threat. (laughs) I assume everything is a threat. That is why I'm still alive. (laughs) Is that a Um, threat? uh, Are you threatening me? You move upstairs, and in terms of <laughs> discussing things, do you want to? So, do we want to set watches? How do we want to do this? Because you need to get your long rest in. Well, we want to discuss things before we have a long rest. Excellent. So, as, what what time, what time of day is it? I mean, it's like early early evening, yeah, like five o'clock ish. Yeah, yeah, because you got you got dropped in sort of late afternoon ish. All the kerfuffle popped off with the five taverns. So, I would say you're looking at six, seven is about where you're at. So I mean, it's hard time to time really has no meeting, yeah, in in the yeah. deal. So yeah, so I yeah, mean, it's, time it's is hamburger. It's a while. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I like it. Exactly, you don't. Know this. <laughs> time has no effect on anybody. <laughs> um, I think there's there's plenty of time for us to chat and stuff before we need to get into sleeping, though. Yeah. Yeah. DM. Hmm? Sorry, I was <laughs> reading all the stream thoughts. I'm, you, but you guys are very interesting too, as well. So uh, well, we have plenty of time that we can talk about and do as long as we don't go out and get in more adventures. We don't need to be in bed until like midnight to get up at eight and have a normal day. You are a correct. couple of us are, are uh, not in need of a full eight hours either. So we can. That's very you know, true. That is very true. Are special. <laughs> <laughs> I got to contribute something. Dang it. Uh, you, I'm sorry, is that you know something what? interesting behind you, DM? Yeah, what's back there? I have a very, apparently the professor's mind is whining to get out <laughs> of whatever box oh, he's no. trapped in. <laughs> <laughs> in keeping up with this dog metaphor. It's kind of crazy. Uh, the amount of people in this party that have dogs in their heads is just insane. <laughs> <laughs> mine is definitely a cat. Absolutely. Oh my God, it's so small. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so, um, so what, what the hell was that? You, you guys were just going to check that place out and. Yeah. Yeah. It's shit Uh, popped off wild. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I I knew that the professor had done the detect thoughts, so I'm up to speed on that, but I don't know anything else that happened. So from what I gathered, um, the professor went in. He drank a big old drink with some moose straw antlers. Um, and then Steve straight up disappeared and then um, um, possessed the professor probably because two more ghost poltergeist showed up and then one got into Fariel. Um, and then uh, uh, I, I, uh, we beat, beat the professor out to knock him out and got one out of him and then looked like Ferial broke whatever hold was held, was held on her. Um, and one of the brothers, not the Steve brother, which I thought Steve would might have been like the normal one out of this. I'm pretty sure the the four are... Anyway. <laughs> um, the last brother said to me that like him, that they got in a fight and he got hurt. So I'm pretty sure all of those brothers are dead. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I think they're all dead and they're just possessing the bartenders. Like that was like the corporeal shape they're taking? I don't know. Something. DM, are are we within 120 feet of Delphi? Am I within 120 feet of her? You're 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 muted. muted. You're muted. I mean, I'm not on the 12th floor. Right, right, right. No, it's a single, it's a two-story building. You're on the second floor, so easily within 120 feet. I'm going to send Delphi a message and ask her if if she can ask Cora about the five taverns um, conglomerate thing and the brothers. Just kind of get some info on that. Uh, and then I'll tell the party that I just did that. Tell her to be casual. <laughs> uh, oh. uh, be casual <laughs> work it in organically yeah she's gonna be rolling a disadvantage at being casual but all right <laughs> um, 
Uh-huh. The queen so, of cash. Oh yeah, they, so they the, ain't nothing cash about Delphi. So, <laughs> the, so the professor then is oh, he's alive, not here. but not there. I I will try to send a message to the professor. P- professor, are are you there? It's, it's Xander. Can you hear me, Professor? I'll just try to send do a message to to him. No response. Yeah. As you reach out, like all you hear is sort of the echoing chasm that is silence. I will relay that to everyone. Yeah. When I did detect thoughts after um, this poltergeist got banished, I couldn't hear the professor and he likes to talk. So. <laughs> You know, I um, thought I would be more comforted by not hearing him, but... Yeah, no, the silence is eerie, isn't it? It's, like, wrong. Yes, with, with the eyes, I think, is the thing. Everybody in the room with the professor, roll a perception check. Um, I only made a 12. 18? 21. 9. 21. 21. Nice. With a 21, Zalvana, you notice that there is something in the professor's hand. Ah. Like clenched in his fist. Um, uh, everyone, uh, what is that he has in his hand? Is he, was he writing something? I don't, I don't, I, he had a drink in his hand before. I'll go look. Do you, do you open his hand up? Yeah. Inside the clenched fist of the professor is a purple red stone. This stone appears to have like a luminous pulsing coming from within. It's very faint, but at the same time, do do you touch it? No. I've learned my lesson from mm. the professor touching things he shouldn't. <laughs> okay. So this 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 luminous pulsing stone just sits in the professor's hand. It seems it, it's rough cut. It's it's almost as like a like an ore almost. Like like it's not a polished gem at all. So um, but it it's it does have multi facets on it, uh, and it just sits there and doesn't seem to heart doesn't seem to beat like a heart but it seems to almost, the light seems to inhale and exhale a little bit. Can I cast Mage Hand to like get it out of his hand? Absolutely, you can. All right, let's see. Let's see me do that. <laughs> Y'all see me do it, because you can't trip it. Oh, wait, right, so. wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Waiting, standing there. By. It is okay. Cool. Oh, wait. Cool. I was just like, <laughs> was like, wait. I do have that, right? I was just not making that up. Uh, my brain. Anyway, that's um, right. I looked earlier thinking I would do something like that, and I don't have it. So, really, what kind of wizard are you? I know. Hey. I'm a Ooh. blade singer. He's a it's... he's a wizard who saw the absolute trifling uselessness of mage hand until this moment. It's a cantrip. Yeah, but I want to kill things. But. It's a cantrip, so I can just do it at will. Oh, no. Absolutely, yeah. you can. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, you, so spectral yeah, floating so hand. Reach out, this floating hand picks it up and takes it from the professor. And as you, you hold it up in front of you. Is there um, a change in the professor when she when she takes it from him? In, like in his physical stature or anything? Are you still doing detect thoughts? Who? Who somebody just did detect thoughts, right? Does that hold up? I no, I sent a message. Detect thoughts was he sent way a message. earlier at the bar. I did a message. Okay. Uh, did yeah. Flynn do detect thoughts? No, I can't. I can only do it once for short rest. Oh, and it's, yeah. um, and it's, it only lasts for like I do, ten minutes or something like that, right? Or, yeah, but I can like actively try to use telepathy on him. Okay. I don't. I don't. I don't know if that's like the blurred line between detect thoughts and just me trying to talk to him and see, and see if there's like a response or something. I don't know. Interesting. Um. All right, so are you, you going to try to reach out to him? Yeah. All right. So as you reach out to him, you hear, yeah, I'm busy. I'll be right back. <laughs> is that from the body or from the, or from the gem? That's, that, is, <laughs> that is from the mind of the professor. That didn't answer my question. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Flynn? 
What did he say? He, he said he said he'll be right back. He'll be right back. Yeah, he's busy. He'll be right back. <sighs> so okay. he's gone voluntarily. I, pr- uh, I think <laughs> he figured out uh, how to how to leave, and just hasn't decided how to come back yet. Uh, Jesus, that, that <laughs> if if he figured out how to leave, he's gonna have us dragging his body around all over Icewind Dale. I'll send it to Gar and yeah, he'll be fine. His, his <laughs> mind. Now, to be honest, does this not hundred percent sound like the professor? It, oh, it, yeah. does, it does. It does. It's like I've discovered something really critical. However, it will require you to carry my body around. Um, it'll be fine. Does the professor yeah, have? It'll be fine. Does he yeah, have uh, like a like an like an empty small pouch or something on him? <laughs> Can I dig around and fleece him for a like a little small pouch? Or something? Yeah. So he so he has. Um, he has this coat on him and the coat almost has this sort of many pockets feature. Like it's very, like it, it's filled with all sorts of interesting kind of knickknacks and whatnot, but you can, you can find an empty pouch somewhere in there. Yeah. One that is separate from the coat. Oh, yeah. 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 Do you want to do yes, that? Yes. Yeah. So I'll do that. And then I'll, I'll hold it under the gem that Zavana has mage handed and we'll put that in the pouch without touching it. Mm. Mm. Um, so that she doesn't have to keep mage handing it, but it's not specifically touching anyone. All right, so fuck you. Yeah. Right, yeah, excellent. So you go ahead, take that, drop that gem into the pouch. Yeah, and then she'll oh. shut the pouch and tie it shut. Good. And okay. and also, um, how did I get here? Uh, right. So Xander, we were um, ask you dealing that. with the. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, technically, the only people in the room, I believe, at the time when Delphi called for Levi was Fariel and Flynn. Oh. Oh. Okay. So. Okay. But, so, it's possible that the two of you may have heard that. I can have you roll for it to see if you actually heard it or if you give me a justification. As, oh, absolutely, my character heard that. But everybody heard the unmistakable sound of the portal gate opening up and going because it sounds exactly like that winter gale storm that you all were subjected to when you first dropped into town so even even i I heard that she wasn't very far away she kind of shrieked it you weren't yeah you weren't so far away xander that you you heard that sound and so that's actually one of the reasons why you came running is you heard the gate open and so you were like "Mm." and 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 it was like proximate to the bar it wasn't up north of town like where we came in absolutely yeah 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 you're like, huh? Didn't think they could do that inside a location. Uh, well, yeah. So while while they're figuring out whether they heard it or not, uh, uh, I I heard the gate, the 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 flush gate. Um, <laughs> Don't. And then and then I heard, I heard shit. Flush gate. Yes, so did <laughs> that's, I. That's, I was that's what like, it, like. I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> Like, you know what? When, when in Icewind Dale, dot, oh, dot, dot. Um, Just another Saturday night. <laughs> and, uh, and, 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 and I, I heard that, and then it sounded like all sorts of ruckus back at the bar, and so that's why I ran I ran back. All right. Must Del- have come through a portal. Delphi. Delphi. Yeah. Called Delphi. out to Levi, and then... Delphi called out to Levi. Uh huh. Asked for help. Oh Lord. Okay. And he's. I, I assume hey. he sent you. Mm hmm. Okay. What's the last thing you remember, Silvana? I was pouring over stuff back at you know, cult business. Like, yes. Like milk <laughs> over cereal or yeah. Yes. Um, pouring. pouring. Did you? Did you? Did you get the? Uh, the, the servants taken care of? I don't know, DM did I? <laughs> I mean, like, like, like take care of? I'm not that mean. <laughs> I'm not, uh, well, you, you, you didn't, you didn't seem yourself when we left, and, and so. <sighs> yeah, you kind of, you kind of sent us off. Yeah, yeah. you're kind of rude about it, actually. I needed to focus. Though, for me. though you did approve That's a our lie. None our, of us can focus. You you did approve our council idea, so we are your like ruling council for the, the cult. council of the cult. Yes. Ah, 
let's not advertise that. The the Harbingers <laughs> Council. Um yeah. but uh but yeah, you don't remember anything anything else that happened? <sighs> not after that. I was just looking at books and things question mark dm so, so yeah so zavana was uh in the she was looking over just what exactly the cult had been getting up to and in terms of the reports that they had had coming in for for the durgar menace that's been threatening the dales but also at the same time just trying to figure out how many people the the cult has i mean after seeing the bodies downstairs and then having the servants freed from the chamber she wanted to make sure that no one else was being ill used by the cult um she's Did you trying find out anything that might be relevant to what happened to this woman's son any information on cult activity around here maybe any way to unmute your microphone zolvana Roll. Oh, I don't. I don't know. I just don't know. Sorry, I'm I saw miming. your I saw your mouth move. I didn't realize you were miming. So, Zolvana, roll me an investigation check. Ooh. Investigation. Yeah, just roll me an investigation. Let me see. Let me see how. Let me see how good you eat. Oh, 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 yeah, I'm a 22. That's what a, 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 that's how she is. Because I, like, I, I got a crack in on that. Crack in. <laughs> oh, so you roll a crack. She good. See, this is what it's this been is why forever. <laughs> don't ever, don't ever get cocky. The because the dice tell a story. Uh, and that so story funny. is damn it. All right. Um, <laughs> Damn it! All right, so no, well done. So, uh, in looking over sort of the the roster of the people that you have uh, registered as the Knight of the Black Sword, uh, mm, yes. you did come across the name Huar, and like so that's why that when she like mentioned that boy's name, like you, your eye, you were like, oh shit! And sure enough, he is like he he's he's up in the ranks of the cult like in the past two months he so he started he had been sent out with a crew uh to try to find the speaker of brenman who had gone missing i know i know don't even get me started His fucking speakers so, the speaker had gone missing but oh, no. they found the speaker however they lost who are and he had been wandering through the frost like frostbitten starving near death and it was then that uh the, the rogue the rogue devil reached out to him and offered him a choice he took it and it's at this point that the cult reached out to him found him and then brought him under their wing and he has been living at the care at care Naval for the past month and a half now ah uh. Do I know if he can be released back home or if he needs to stay there? Like, is that a part of it? I mean, you absolutely, you could say to him, you can go home anytime you want, but he's okay. in a cult. Like, Got it. So no, he in a cult. So. He's in a cult. Like, it's not like, it, there's no like magic holding his mind. It is a, like, it's a cult. he has been conditioned by this devil, much in the hmm. same way that like, you Delphi. Yourself. Yeah. <laughs> like you yourself and Delphi are sort of gotten like hooked little by little. And suddenly you start doing things like, you know, like you're keeping a speaker locked up in a castle and you're. He was an you asshole. Know, Don't turn that on. That's like, looks bad choice. Yeah. You know, yeah you're, you're, easy. You're this. popping up, you're popping up a, a dissonant whisper off at one of your party members. You know, just little <laughs> things like that where. He was possessed. <laughs> sure. Um, I know, I know. Are these okay. things? Does, does she tell us all? Did you tell us all this still stuff on that? So, so this, so this history check has been gifted to you from me. Now, uh, how much of this information that you pass on to the party? All right, so I'm going to keep in character. Um, um, I have to, I have to think on it. I think I know his name, but uh, <laughs> I need to check. Uh, uh. <laughs> I need to check back at the castle to be sure. Uh, Sander. Sander, you Meanwhile, <laughs> down in the kitchen. Yeah. 
That smelled like some great bullshit. A bullshit. <laughs> and it's like, what? The I, can, can I actually? Can I? Can I incite her on that? And see how well she's lied on it. You absolutely can. I have so, so much roll that charisma. Insight, but hold on. on to it for a second. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get a little bit of Delphi in here. So, Delphi's down in the room with Cora, and you absolutely hear the message from Xander earlier and saying, "Okay, ask." casually as possible and then like in the background you hear Flynn like as casually as possible <laughs> like try to inquire as to what actually happened at the five tavern center casually casually oh, she's, she's just <laughs> so, Cora looks at you and sees you do this face <laughs> are you are you all right, dear? Did you just cut your uh, finger off? <laughs> no, I just, I had a question and I didn't know how to phrase it politely. Is it about someone special? Oh, no, 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 no not really. That's Nobody right. knows about that. Um, those, uh, <laughs> okay. This is what you all show up for is Delphi just being an absolute button. <laughs> all right. Those other taverns? What 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 happened? The tap the the, the 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 five ones? Oh the oh 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 did you you didn't go into those, did you? I had to put a foot in there. Oh, oh no. Oh, you sweet summer child. <laughs> now I have to kill you. <laughs> How you're touched by the devil. <laughs> <laughs> God, that's good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ryan, <laughs> don't worry about killing this old lady. Hey, look, it's October. All, all, all gloves are off. All right, no. All right. So, no, she looks. She said, "Oh my God, you sweet summer child, a great sorrow happened in that place. Uh, an entire family was destroyed." Do you, do you know the origins of the taverns, the brothers? No, they just kind of went. There were five brothers. And they had all set to build these taverns and then they were on, they had thought that each of the other would then work the taverns and the brothers themselves just collect um, the rewards of their hard earned build. And when it came time for the actual running of the taverns, the brothers fought. Two of them came to blows. One of the brothers tried to separate them. A knife was pulled. At the end of it, three of the brothers were dead and two of them left. And the taverns have been empty ever since. Um, and several people have tried to open them up and, and, and use them. To my, to my knowledge, they're locked though. I, I don't think a soul's set foot in there in, in some time. There's a shame. As, what? They're what? not locked. Um, so who were the two brothers that left? Oh, goodness. Do you happen to remember their names? Oh, I, th I think it was, oh God, they're all, they all sounded the damn same, except for a, uh, Jackie, Naki, Black, uh, uh, well, honestly, I can't remember all of them. Um, but it was the odd one. Steve? Yes, <laughs> yes. That was the, yes. So he left. He, no, he didn't leave. Oh, no, darling, he didn't leave. He's, well, that's kind of leaving. Uh. <laughs> he, no, trust me, he's still here. And he's one of the reasons why no one sets foot in those bars. Yes. 
I think we got haunted by him. Haunted by him? We went in there. Shut up, Xander. We went in there. (laughs) (laughs) Things happened. Oh. Elfie. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. Why not? Well, that's... Everything's going to be fine. Your friends will have a, uh, you'll have a nice evening. We'll make a wonderful meal. You'll feel right as rain in the morning. And then we'll go talk to the speaker and uh, see if we can't get your friends some help. Uh, the Why do they need help? Well, because the spirits in that inn. They exist? I mean, you would know better than I would. Are, are all your friends all right? Any There's one that's... of them that's not moving and his eyes are open. <laughs> we're going to need a lot more salt. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to go ahead and jump back up into the bedroom. <laughs> what one of your friends is possessed? Well, here's your sack of dinner. You better be on the road now. Oh <laughs> Shame, oh, really? I wish you could God. stay the night. <laughs> but I'm all full up. Got a big bus oh, of tourists coming in. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, I was going to insight. You sure so were. Oh, my God. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and say that that is a crack in. For, so plus two is a 22. A 22. Oh, awesome. Hell yeah. So with that, in, so if you're trying to insight somebody to see if they're lying, can they... Can she counter roll, roll deception? She can roll de- you? A deception against me. Yeah. All right. So you got to. I mean, yeah. If she's if she's trying to lie to me, yes. So right. Silvana. My ooh, my deception is plus six though. I mean, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. So Silvana, if you want to try to keep this <clears throat> information to yourself. <gasps> okay, I uh, eighteen plus six. It's 24. She's got you. <laughs> She's got you. Yeah. I mean, I, I I did have a crit, which you sometimes reward people with. You you are correct. However, mm-hmm. in these sort of deception roll-offs and whatnot, so don't be flexing. Don't be flexing. No, you flex, girl. You flex. I love it. I love it. So, yeah, there's... So, uh, Xander, at, on, on this insight roll, like, you, you don't have enough proof to say, like... E- you're totally bullshitting me right now, aren't you? But y- you're pretty sure something's mm. not right, but you can't, like, it, it's like that thing where you're like, I got no evidence. I can't, like, I'm just going to come out. Of, I'm not, I, like, I can come out and be a dick about it, but I'm like, everyone in the room is like, oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, whatever you, so, like, you're the only one who's got maybe a bead that she's, something's off. <laughs> Something it, smells fishy. If, the, if that's the case, then rather than being a dick out in front of everybody, that's I will just whole town. I will just message her with, "Hmm." <laughs> ah, he did the trifling message. All right, that's good. Yeah, the, hmm, and I will look. I will just look at him and like raise an eyebrow, just like, like what? Uh, okay, so let me. So let, let, let me. So just for you playing at home, this that went like this. Hmm. No, it went. Hmm. So, <laughs> yes. There it is. Hmm. Let me not fun on the outside, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, Flynn and Fairy are like, so just hanging out here with the professor then, I guess. Well, we're we're having a chat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you think you're reading a book in there? Probably. Oh, probably. Probably like manifested a novel and reading it or something. Or- <laughs> Spell checking currently. I mean, oh my I mean, he said he'd be back. Maybe we just leave him alone. Maybe he's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, well, maybe he'll um, come back fine. I mean, he hasn't been fine since we met him. True. <laughs> Correct. Uh, would you like me to take first watch while you guys get some rest? So at this point, Cora and Delphi return to the room, and the food smells fantastic Ooh, uh, God. you, you say, <laughs> yeah, she, she sets it out and as she sets it out she's like where is she? and then she immediately locks eyes on the professor and goes oh, no he's got the he's got the the 
the thing on his eyes. No, oh yeah. yeah, no, I know. Like she, she and sees him and goes. Into bed. Mm. <laughs> he's tucked into bed, but in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> You know, yeah, so, like, yeah. So you, you see her just, uh, if I may, just as a precaution, she has like a bag of salt. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if no one stops her, she's going to. Not gonna at all. By yeah. all means. No, uh, go, ahead. Go, ahead. I, go ahead. I will <laughs> offer to, uh, I will offer nice. to help her if she needs help. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, just a complete circle. Yep, no okay. one. Yep, yep. Break it for the night. Um, your friend, I'm sure, will be fine. Uh, Delphi told me that you went. Well, you went places, and so uh, <laughs> yeah, just uh huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're you... going places. So, some her. of us farther than others, and I will gesture mm-hmm. toward the professor. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. Some of you have yet to come back, it seems. Yeah. Um, so we're just going to make sure that he doesn't. Yeah. You know, have a, uh-huh. have, a walk, yep. have a walk around. What, what might That's... happen? You, a walk around. What? Um, so people who have gone into the Five Tavern Center uh, will oftentimes don't come out at all, uh, or uh, if they do come out, they're prone to find themselves in places that they can't explain. We had one man just walk himself right out into the lake, drowned himself. It's horrifying. It, what, why would they not lock those bars up or maybe tear them down? Oh, that's or, the thing is we, we the town continues to, to 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 lock them up or try to secure them in some way. And then in order to knock them down, somebody has to go in and nobody wants uh, to go in. Be a couple Molotovs. You can technically them technically not true. They're made of wood. Uh, but I will look at Flynn and Feriel. Uh, oh, no, the bars, but, but the you, bars but were not it, were not locked. They, we, if we, you, no, we strode right in. Fire, you, you risk the whole town. You can't. There's no way you could control the blaze. I mean, no, no, me. it, it, uh, true. That's true. Um, but they weren't locked when we went in, and it 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 almost seemed as though they were crowded, and then we went in, and they were empty. Damn! I must have you all come uh, see the speaker in the morning. Uh, oh, we we have to figure out what we can do about this. Uh, I, 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 I promise you. I'm so this is this is one of the. F- Go ahead. No, sorry. Go. No. It's shenanigans. You can go ahead because if yours is serious, then let it let it happen. So, well, it's it's. I'm being an asshat. So oh, this okay, is me one too. of one of the few tin so towns that the still has the asshat, y'all. We're having ourselves a Saturday. So. This is one of the few tin towns that still has its speaker because everywhere else we seem to go, the speakers have been killed or kidnapped or taken away. It's kind of an oddity for us. Well, uh, this one is. I think. He is here. Uh, speaker Shell Scar is. He's been speaker for a very long time, which, uh, as a dwarf, is not unheard of. Is but... he still alive? Oh, he's still alive. Is Are he... the lights on, but nobody's he here, here, like our friend? Or is like actually here? Oh, I would say the speaker is definitely more here than your friend, but less so than us. Can he talk? Oh, uh, a pair can talk. Why regardless. are you so mean? I was just wanting to ask a question. <laughs> you know he's a door flinger. Well, there's no need to be so mean to Delphi. She's worked very hard and created quite a lovely meal for all of you. She she has that that I... that is that is true. The both of you, they, and I will just try to I will try my best to shut Flynn down from whatever he was going to say. <laughs> thank, we 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 appreciate your hospitality and Delphi. Thank you for your help, since we all are in need of rest. Exactly. <laughs> so this this thank evening, you, you will be safe. Make sure he does not leave that circle. It should contain him. <laughs> But there are far, far worse things than the occasional cold out there on the ice. This place is definitely different than the uh, celestial realm. Ah. Well, I'm very glad you're here. Enjoy dinner. She's going to uh, head downstairs. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Good night. So, my friends, 
you all sit down to a lovely meal. Uh, while uh, Delphi's fish porridge is still there, it has been zazzed up uh, by Cora's cooking. Uh, the trout. There's some hot sauce there. I'll eat it. <laughs> oh, absolutely. There it is. <laughs> so uh, the trout steaks have been seasoned beautifully to like like you you don't even recognize the fit like xander for the first time you don't actually like feel like you're tasting fish anymore like it just tastes divine yeah then i'm i'm all kinds of digging in on that then absolutely so all of you can go ahead and get so you have your long rest coming up go ahead and 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 good uh set up your um watches for the night Mm -hmm. And because you all benefited from the trout steak, you will all get to roll a D10 of extra Ooh. health. <gasps> Ooh, as, yeah. as temporary hit points tomorrow? Yep, 10 hit points. Nice. Sweet. Yeah. Um, well, cooking is... Zilvana is going to take first watch. I'll sit with her. Uh, first I'll, watch? I'll sit with her. I was ah. wondering about that. So all Zilvana right. with... Xander. Because I only need four hours of sleep. I Love also it. only need four hours. Okay, so. cool. So then second watch. I'll take it. Flynn? How, how long is watch? Do we do? So excellent question. So a long rest is eight hours. You know, uh, yeah. and then on top of that, uh, so with the two, so you could break it up into like two and a half, like you could do two four-hour chunks, and that'll be that. Easy peasy. Uh, that does leave Flynn doing a four-hour chunk. So well, because I was going to say Xander and I could each do a four-hour chunk. Uh, you could, and absolutely. And just split it like that. So yeah. do you want... To yeah, so, so we could do Xander and Feriel each do four hours, and then Zalvana, Delphi, and Flynn each do like two and a half hours. Yeah, so any any human character I'm imagining does like a two-hour watch. Sure, or like two hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so... That way they can get their actual full rest. Absolutely. And we still have double coverage on a watch. All right. Um, on, so on, first on, 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 uh, she said, don't cross. I was going to say, I want to put a chair on the professor, but, and like sit on the chair, but she said, don't cross the circle. So I won't, Yep. I, I will, I will heed that. I will heed that warning and not have tomfoolery with the professor's body. <laughs> This is also this is also a part to sort of make sure that none of y'all mess around with the poor bike. <laughs> to Tom foolery right now. Okay. Indeed, indeed. All right. So uh watches are set. Yeah. Oh, yep. mm -hmm. Um so let's go ahead. Uh hmm. and I think this is concerning. <laughs> as so as night falls and the professor's body stays slumped on the floor, encircled in salt. And the rest of you really start to feel the weariness of these past, God, was it only a day when you all woke up and saw that Delphi had been encased in ice and then you had been smuggled from your chambers into the speaker's chambers and then had the knockdown drag out fight with none other than the freaking uh, uh, cold-hearted killer, lest we forget mm. about that. Mm -hmm. And then from there, that fight ensued. Uh, you had you had the the death match w between Zilvana and uh, and the leader of the uh, the, the Brotherhood of the Black Sword. And then from there, almost immediately, you were then sent here to Bremen, and the absolute weariness of this whirlwind sets in on your bones as all of you pat like just knock out into sleep as the wind howls outside you think gods this is only the beginning and that is where we'll leave the stream for tonight mm. yay mm -hmm. sleep Thank you so much, friends, for, for joining we us. We did so much in this day. <laughs> yeah, and this is this is the oh, this is the only like viable argument uh, for action economy because we got a lot out of this day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, y'all. Um, like that was a whirlwind. So. <laughs> <laughs>